Welcome to Chiron Labs, and today I'm going to share with you the game-changing secret of mycology. Now, some people are going to absolutely love this. They're going to save so much time with this. Some people are going to hate it. They're going to say, oh, you're giving away all the trade secrets. But now, I'm giving away this amazing secret to all you guys watching this right now. So, I have some video rolling. You're just going to see a couple of different models of the continuous syringe idea as I was going through the process of what works best for me. So up first, uh, my first trial was a 100 millimeter syringe. It worked all right. You know, I could draw fluid from a jar and I could fill up 10 syringes at once. It was kind of cool. It was kind of neat. Um, it wasn't quite working for me. So now this just gets set aside and I use it to, to draw out fluids from my car when I'm doing things like brakes and stuff. Our next one on the list is this 10 millimeter cattle syringe. Um, it was working okay. It was a better concept. I could hook it up to the jar and this thing was flying. It was working okay, but I kept getting hand cramps just because the awkward, uh, how far out the handle was sticking. It was just not comfortable for me. Uh, you can see right here, I'm putting a little lure adapter on there and I'm just showing you how to fill up one empty with this and it worked great. It worked good. But now moving on, this is the game changing model. This is a 5mm cattle syringe that I ended up getting off AliExpress. Um, this was the only one that I found that had this pivot joint on there and also had the tube feeding in from the bottom. Um, it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. It feels great in the hands. And um, I had to add my own lure barb fitting at the bottom. And I chose this one and I modified all my jars to fit this design. Now, some of you will remember the video I posted pulling 100 syringes per hour. This is the exact tool that was used in making the video. Now, sit back and enjoy, and I'll show you exactly how I set this up. Now, besides making liquid culture and spore syringes, you could also use it to inoculate bags as well. So keep that in mind while you're doing your stuff. Maybe you could speed up your process a little bit with this method. Now, before I get started, I always like to spray down. Um, I'm using some isopropyl alcohol this time. Clearly, this is for demonstration purposes. Normally, you'd want to do this in front of a flow hood or a still air box. So right here, I have a sterile valve. I like to put these on top of my jars. It just adds an extra layer of protection. Um, so we spray down our lids. Now we can take off our cap. We could take off our cap on the valve and we're just going to put it on the lid. Now that we have that on nice and tight, we can get ready to put our continuous syringe on. But first we got to sanitize it. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take off the lid off our isopropyl alcohol and we're just going to put the tube right in there. Having a modified jar with isopropyl would make this easier, but this way works just fine. So we're going to pump it a couple times, and we're going to let this sit down and settle for about 5 to 10 minutes. I know some people are going to say, OMG, you need to sanitize that. It needs to go into a pressure cooker or an autoclave. The truth is, this way has been tested, and it works pretty well. The reason behind doing this is to make it fast easy and affordable that way any grower regardless of their experience level can get high quality results okay after your five to ten minutes is over then you could start pulling from your jars i'm just going to fill up three syringes back to back to show you how easy it is so all that it takes is just two pumps and then you're done the only thing you would need is some sterile caps and you could either fresh cook those or I like to have mine in nice purple alcohol. So now that you saw how to fill syringes, now we can move on to doing grain bags. I like to spray the tip down with ice propyl alcohol before I start. Then you just take a sterile syringe, spray down your bags with ice propyl alcohol, and then you could inject however much you want in there. Um, this is a five millimeter syringe and I think it worked great for a three to five pound green bag. When you're done, you just close your valve, spray with some isopropyl alcohol and put the cap back on there. And then it's set and ready for the next time you want to use it. Hey guys, this has been Chiron Labs. 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and follow me on YouTube if you haven't already. There's going to be more great content this year.